Hey there, welcome back to Old World Home. Welcome to our sort of bare living room. We are getting ready to do some Christmas decorating. It is time, so we have already done a little bit of prepping here in the living room, which is something we do every Christmas because we have to do a little rearranging in order to fit our Christmas tree. So this little green table and the lamp, I am still going to have to move out of the way but we have the couch or the little side chair here and another chair at the computer. We have moved a lamp to the basement and a little stool to another room, but I am just so excited to get these things out and up. The main things I wanna focus on today are the Christmas tree and the mantle. So right now we still have a little bit of fall decor going on on the mantle. So we're going to get that cleaned off and then do some decorating here on the built-in bookshelves. It's my main focus for today. If I can do some things in the kitchen, if I have the time, I will get started on that. My son just went away, but I am just so excited to bring some Christmas sparkle to our home. So come along with me. My Christmas decorating definitely goes in phases. I have kind of the cleaning, rearranging phase, and then I have the bringing everything up phase, and then even while I'm decorating, it's just, it doesn't all happen in one day. I think that's maybe a myth that some people believe, but if you have a household and you decorate, you know that it just takes time. I mean, I guess it depends on how much decor you have and and how far you wanna go. Even this pillow that I'm putting out, I wound up changing that. It's a process. I don't feel the pressure to do it all in one day and have it just be done. Again, some people do that, but I just like kind of taking my time and tweaking things as I go. Even with our stockings, I'll talk about later. I'm not crazy about the little letter um, ornaments that we usually put on them. These I do love, these are glass, so I have to put them up pretty high since we have an 18 month old this Christmas. You'll probably see later, my tree is mostly decorated towards the top and there isn't a lot that's breakable on the bottom. Even these ribbons I'll talk about later, they wound up not working, it wasn't what I had in mind, but I really am loving these more champagne tones and just kind of using a little bit less of the bright red ornaments that I have used for many years and I love but I'm just gonna mix things up a little bit this year. So my strategy so far is that I'm doing a little bit more of a neutral tree this year. A little more of like the champagne sort of silver and gold and then I will kind of evaluate from there how much color I want to add. I do have a lot of red ornaments and I'm debating whether or not to put them on the tree. I just kind of really love the more neutral and I have a bunch of brass as well and some ornaments that I want to update the strings on. So some of them I might actually take off what is there and add on some red velvet ribbon because I just love that combination with the brass. So there will be little touches of red. I, just, I can't get away from red. I love it at Christmas time and obviously our stockings are more red as well. But I'm just kind of thinking of keeping the tree a little more subdued. And then this ribbon I bought this year from Amazon and I'm a little bit disappointed. It's a little too pink for my liking. So I did put that up here and I don't know, I thought, I thought it might work, but it's really looking very pink, especially against the more warm brass. And my goal was actually to make little ribbons to tie onto the tree as well. I love that look. I think it's so classic and pretty, but I'm just worried that this is too pink. So I do have some other ribbon options. They're not satin like this. I have some velvet, like I have some red velvet that I used a lot last year. I have some navy blue velvet. I just don't know how much of each I have. I don't know if I have enough to do kind of the look that I'm going for. So we shall see, but here is more brass that I plan to put on the tree. And again, some of them tied with that red velvet. So I just, I love that combination. The brass, the neutrals. I do have some, you know, decorative ones that are also 
you know, have some, add some texture, if you will. And then I have a few in here that have little pops of red and just the more like metallics. I really love that set. And yeah, my stars that usually go here in the dining room, but you can see I still have some remnants of fall that need to come down as well. So the mantle so far, all I did was clean it off on the top and put up the stockings. Again, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these letters. The kids just put them up because we have used them in the past and I really like them, but they don't all match because obviously we've had to add on throughout the years. I actually love this kind of tone. It's a little bit more of that champagne and these are much more silver. So it's a little bit of a mishmash because we've again had to add on throughout the years as we've added children. I don't even know if Jude has one. So I might do something different on the stockings. And then my mantle, I usually do a lot of fresh pine. So it's a little bit early to put that up. So that's also going to wait for a little bit. All right, so I'm just focusing on this little table here. I absolutely love this basket of mums we've had for about a week now, but I think I'm gonna have to move it. I mean, I'm not quite sure. I might plant them. I'm not sure if they're the kind that come back. But anyways, I'm trying to decide what to do on this wall. I love the horse there underneath the antlers, but I was in my basement and I saw this mirror, which I love. I've had this for maybe like 10 years. I don't even know, I've had it a long time. And it was a little dusty. I just shined her up, kind of polished her up a little bit. And I've seen and I've pinned on Pinterest some really beautiful Christmas images with these federal mirrors. So I'm thinking of swapping it out. I don't know if it'll be forever or just the Christmas season, but you can see that this, this frame alone is reflecting the Christmas tree, but I think it'd be even better to have a mirror there to reflect the tree so that even if you're just looking at this area, I don't know how much like Christmas specific things I'm gonna do on the surface, but just having the mirror reflecting the tree, I think would be really beautiful. And then that means, I don't know what I'll do with this other horse because its mate is on this wall. So I could put it back above it. I used to have them stacked, but I also love the smaller with the larger frame. So I could just, you know, hide this one away in the basement until after Christmas. I don't know, it's always a work in progress. This wall has been a work in progress the entire time we've lived here. So let's just try one more thing. I don't know what it is about this wall right in our entryway. It's just sort of like our entry table. I have literally done probably 20 different things on this wall and I just can never settle on something that I absolutely love. I really love having a mirror here, again, since it's kind of by our entryway, but I just haven't found the perfect thing, but I really like this. All right, so in order to get that to fit on that wall and look, look right, I did have to take down both of those things, but I have to say, I love it. I love this view that it gives you. You can just see everything in there, the mantle, the built-in. I love that. And now I'm thinking how much I love it with this giant basket. I just, I don't know. I love an oversized moment. Like it kind of looks a little bit ridiculous, but at the same time, I kind of love it. And I've loved having flowers in it. So I'm thinking of getting poinsettias, either red or white would be really beautiful in here. And just have that be my only like Christmassy decor on that table. I might actually, where are they? I have these two cute little, little like carolers, Christmas carolers. Yeah, I think they're downstairs. All right, they were found. Aren't they so adorable? I don't know if I got these at the end of like last Christmas. I don't know if I used them yet, but I think they would be really cute here on this table. And this with a bunch of white poinsettias, poinsettias. Now I'm going to set up our little nativity. We have these really sweet um, nativity people that I thrifted. But now I'm wondering, did I lose baby G? Oh no, he's down there. Whew. Okay, <laughs> I was a little worried for a second. 
All right, I just put the tree collar on the base. This tree is from Balsam Hill. We worked together a couple years ago. So this was gifted and it's a beautiful tree. We absolutely love it. I do love a real tree, but the convenience of a fake tree, the pre-lit aspect, I mean, it's beautiful. And there's so many realistic options these days. And I kind of make up for the faux tree, I think, with all the fresh pine that I like to do, like around, you know, top of the mantle. And then up here as well, I usually like to make a fresh pine or magnolia or a mix of both. I'll do like a fresh swag across the top and that's like one of my favorite things to do. But yeah, can you see how pink those look? I really don't think that's gonna... That's not going to work this year. It's a little too baby pink. I mean, it's a beautiful color. It's just really not, that's not what I was going for. I just think you can't get more classic than red velvet at Christmas time. So you can see I'm taking off the chains from these little brass ornaments and tying on the red ones. And I just really love that look. So I just continued it. I did this last year on the sconces. And this little ornament is called a Toby mug and we got that on Nantucket when we were there this summer. I just found this cookie mold. It is one of those brown bag cookie um, baking stones, I guess you can call it. And I did thrift it, I believe. I don't, honestly can't even remember where I got this one, but obviously I don't think it's ever been used. And I shared this one a couple weeks ago. This is from House on the Hill. I'm definitely going to make some cookies this year. They call them like, I don't even know how to pronounce it, like spring, springer roll. I don't even know. I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen. But yes, beautiful cookies. So I'm going to just put a little string on them. These built-ins are by far one of my most favorite additions that we've done to our home. We took three freestanding bookshelves that we got for free actually and my husband brought my vision to life and it is just such a pleasure to decorate it for the seasons to bring in a little bit of sparkle and I absolutely love this book that I found at a yard sale earlier this year. This little string of candle lights has to be like one of my best top five best yard sale finds. I paid one dollar for it and they have like the fake you know, dripping wax on the side. You can still buy something very similar on Amazon. I can link them below, because every time I show them, I always get asked. But I just love them, they have a little slight flicker. Now again, this is not gonna look like this. I need to add in all the pine, but I just wanted to check and make sure that they still work. And they do have like little clips on them. So I usually clip them in place on the pine so that they don't flop over. They just stand up better when they have something to attach to. All right, so it's about 4.30, which means the sun is almost completely set. And I think the living room is looking really good. It's not totally done, but like I said, still need to do some finishing touches when I get all my pine out and do all my swags. But I'm really loving the built-ins. I love how this glass reflects the Christmas tree and I do want to get a candle to put there on that little white base. I couldn't remember what I usually do if I had a candle in there or not because initially I took that out and then I thought huh I actually like the idea of it being in there with a candle and I love the little red on the sconces and then I have a little jar or a little bowl. Usually I put red ornaments in here. So this year I just mixed it up, did kind of the silver and champagne, which actually works really nicely with our little nativity. And we have a lot of library books. I need to return those and then I can put all the Christmas books there. I love my little carolers here. I don't know if they're carolers, but they look adorable. And I love the flowers, but again, I'll update that closer to Christmas. And then I was just kind of consolidating all the things I had moved, and I had a nail already in the, in the wall right there. And I actually really love how it looks up there. I like how it kind of layers with the tree, if that makes sense. Like, I like when there's dimension, like things in front of things. 
So I think that looks really nice. And I do have a different plaid throw, so I'm debating which one to use. These colors definitely look nice with the burgundy pillows, but I also have a much more red, kind of more traditional plaid. Now, lest you think I did all this in one day and left no mess behind, let me turn you to the dining room. So I've just tried to like consolidate everything in here. In the kitchen, I think I'm going to try to put my reindeer garland, my cinnamon reindeer up here. And again, this is where I would put pine clippings. Also still need to caulk and paint all the windows. So hopefully that will get done before Christmas. But yes, this is one of my favorite things to do. I have a video about it. These are homemade applesauce cinnamon ornaments and you poke poke little holes in it so that when they are baked, you can string it up like a really cute little garland. I also did tie on the strings on the little cookie molds, so those look adorable. It's actually a few days later now, but I am going to pop in this clip. I did get up the reindeer that night, but then I added these wreaths just the other day. So I got these at Target. They were from the Wonder Shop. I think I actually still have it on there. Yeah, from the Wonder Shop. They were $10 and they have these really sweet little bells that hang down. They are silver, which I like silver, but I think I would prefer if they were sort of a gold or brass tone just because we have, you know, both of those going on here. So I could get some rub and buff and paint those really easily. And then the ribbon was just from the Dollar Tree. It's just sort of a, a burgundy kind of velvet really inexpensive and this is something that i've thought about doing for years so i'm really glad that i finally made it happen i think maybe this frame will need to go at least just for the christmas season and then we do need some kind of window covering because in the morning the sun streams in through here it is so bright that i'm not sure if i'm gonna do something across the top or something that would come down on the sides i think would look really nice I have this fabric swatch that I got at Hobby Lobby months ago. Hopefully they still have it because I'm thinking of getting another yard of this. I think that could make some really pretty sort of drapes that would come down and like just touch the counter. I don't know, kind of playing around with the idea. I think maybe just a tension rod across the top and I could try out both looks. But that is the kitchen little updates. And we of course have the ribbons on the jars. That's one of my favorite things. And my little cookie molds in the corner. Well, I think that is going to be a wrap for this first day of Christmas decorating. We have done a little bit outside and we did put a Christmas tree in the basement, but this is sort of the first official wave of Christmas decorating upstairs. And I just love how it looks. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, be sure to stick around and subscribe as I have a ton more Christmas content to share with you. And I'll be talking to you soon. Take care.